What's up? How are you guys today? I've showed you what I eat almost every week, my supplement routine, my morning routine. Today, we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna take you around my house and show you various health things that you might have forgot, you might not have considered, or if you've watched all of my videos, you are probably already doing. Uh, so right now I'm in my mess of a room. Here we have a bed canopy from wifishielding.com and in that canopy is my hardwired computer. Uh, so a lot of the stuff today is gonna be like how to hardwire various electronic devices to reduce your radiation exposure from radio frequency. I know I did a video on it, but I can't remember what it's titled, something like open a window or something where you need to breathe fresh air. So if you're inside all day, if you're in an office, if you don't have good ventilation, you, know, you want either to crack a window open or go outside a lot and make sure you're breathing that fresh air. Because just after a few hours, especially a day or two in an enclosed space, the CO2 levels get very high. You could be sleepy, fatigued, nauseous, just not feel good. And all you had to do was open up a window or go outside. And the symptoms from the radiation, which uh, you might need a canopy for, are like, mainly headaches and insomnia. Th those are the two big ones. Like if you can't sleep, if you have restlessness. So what I have here is my iPhone. Uh, you don't want to see that. That's someone. <laughs> uh, this is a <laughs> this is a direct wire ethernet cable so this is connected to an ethernet switch which goes to my router and you could also charge your phone at the same time with this adapter so what you do is you put your phone on obviously you put this in the phone and then after this connects you can put the phone on airplane mode and then what you have is a low radiation phone where you can do everything you want to do without being exposed to the radiation. Now, the thing about this is sometimes like text messaging doesn't work, but every single other app does work on the phone. Uh, we have these on wifishielding.com as well. Right next to my phone, we have our magnesium oil spray, and I showed you guys that in my morning routine video, so we're not gonna do that again now. And then we have some more EMF Wi-Fi blocking devices. You know, if I have to turn my phone on and use like calling or text messaging, I'll put this net on my head, and I also have a hat that I will wear uh, when I go out just because the net isn't that convenient looking like a beekeeper and not being able to see when you're driving. So in my bathroom, which is a little bit of a mess, we have some water, which I will hydrate with in the morning, but also if I wash my face, if I brush my teeth, if I rinse my mouth out, I'm using bottled water. In my water flusher, I have bottled water. I have a container of iodine here, and this I usually use for brushing my teeth right now, rinsing my mouth out instead of the tooth powder. And uh, sometimes I'll even put some iodine on a towel to wipe my face. So the reason you would want to use tooth powder instead of iodine is, you know, one, you don't want to use too much iodine. And two, this doesn't exactly make your breath smell good, whereas the peppermint tooth powder does. Over here in the shower, I have some of my clay shampoo, which is all I use on my hair, face, and everything. Very natural. More importantly, shower filter that is removing the chlorine. It doesn't remove the fluoride as far as I know, but that isn't really absorbed as much transdermally, and it removes a lot of negative stuff. So if you don't have a filter on your shower, they're $20, $30 on Amazon. I'm sure you can look into uh, one that's even more expensive that might work a little better. I mean, ideally you have a whole house filtration system, but you could take a bottle of water, wet a rag, and wipe yourself down with a rag if you're really OCD and crazy. And that's not a bad idea, you know, put a little iodine on a rag and that, but I'm not that crazy yet. I'm getting there though. I've considered it. So in this closet right here, we have the router. Now the Wi-Fi on the router is turned off. So this is not emitting any sort of radiation signal. And then this is wired throughout all the rest of the house. If you want, you could also put like a cage on it or wrap it up. Down in the kitchen, obviously more water, staying hydrated, especially in the morning wake up first thing I do is hydrate but also I'll drink some lemon juice in my water on occasion for vitamin C antiscorbutic properties this is something you guys don't always see me do but you know with our modern environment if you're eating a lot of grains sometimes I eat some snacks that are not so great the extra vitamin C even some ascorbic acid sometimes is very very important uh, we did a video on cookware some months ago I have these new nonstick green pans for my family I prefer to use cast iron stainless steel I have some like silicone spatulas, wooden stuff. Go watch my video on cook where you'll get an idea of what you can and should be using and making sure you're not adding extra toxins like this dish soap cascade to your 
silverware and plates for yourself and your family now. My uh, family does not care about that. So what I have to do after it comes out of the dishwasher with all of that chemical crap on it, I literally rinse the plate off with regular water and then reverse osmosis filtered water. And then I'll wipe the plate with a clean rag to get rid of all that residue. Now reverse osmosis is okay, but it's obviously not good enough to drink still. I, I wouldn't even cook with it actually. It's just good for rinsing and cleaning. This is an Apex system. It's only a few hundred dollars and then maybe pay a plumber a few hundred to install it. But if I'm cooking, if I'm drinking, only use the bottled mineral water. You know, I wish I had well water or something high quality, but I do not. Even something like this, which my parents just bought another one for some reason, you know, the plastic bottled big ones, Poland Spring, whatever, you know, that's probably still not that good either. Who knows what's in it? Also, some of you may have noticed there is no microwave in this kitchen. We used to have one and I used to tell my parents how bad it was. They never believed me until, you know, every time they woke up in the middle of the night, they noticed someone started running the microwave in the kitchen. So they emit a decent amount of radiation when they're off, but when they're on, it's actually crazy. You have to be like outside on the street to not be affected by the radiation. So another big thing, if you guys are near microwaves, they're on all day, definitely figure something out. Even if you are in a bed canopy, you probably need like two or three layers because the radiation from the microwave is so high. I believe I went over this in the Wi-Fi EMF video. This is a magnetic field meter. Now normally the problem is radio frequency fields like Wi-Fi routers, cell phones, that type of stuff. But high power devices like power lines and circuit breakers give off magnetic fields. Now for most people, magnetic fields are not an issue for most of the day, but if you work near a circuit breaker, if you sleep near a circuit breaker, if you're not feeling well, that is the worst, worst, worst case scenario because a magnetic field cannot be blocked. You have to move away from it. And in this house, uh, by the bedroom I had when I was a kid, the worst magnetic field output I've seen in a residence because I don't know what Con Ed did with the power lines. They messed something up. It's very unusual. I've measured a lot of circuit breakers and for some reason, they're pumping an incredible amount of power into the house. So if you're sleeping near a circuit breaker, maybe move to another side of the house, sleep in a different room. If you want to get one of those magnetic field readers, it's a few hundred dollars. You can measure around your house and make sure that the levels aren't too crazy, crazy high. So some more EMF stuff is, you know, everyone has an electric meter on their house or apartment and Con Ed's been replacing these with smart meters. So what you can do is they have a smart meter opt out program where you have to pay like 10 more dollars a month and you can uh, get it replaced and you won't have the Wi-Fi emitting from that device. Now, you know, if you have neighbors or apartments close by, that's not gonna make much of a difference. So you probably still have to shield the inside. But guys, definitely watch all of my videos on Wi-Fi AMF radiation and you're not familiar with it. Also, um, I have like a tree out here in my front yard where sometimes if I don't feel well, I will come over here and use it to ground. Now the problem with radiation levels in New York is you can't really ground. You have to go to like a field or a hiking trail or something where you can, you know, reduce the environmental conglomerate of radiation and then just be like in a lower area because all of the radiation from everyone's house, devices, everything goes into that ground nearby. So if you guys watch those videos I mentioned, uh, I have some products available on my businesses like Wi-Fi shielding, organ supplements, just on frank And as much as I despise Amazon, I do have some other products on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash frank So you guys can be a little bit happier and healthier. If you don't feel good, uh, well, really nothing that's going to happen is going to be good. Think about it. You know, people that are always sick and they're in pain, they're miserable. And usually everything that happens to them corresponds to that. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, check out frank guys. Support me through my businesses.